Bitcoin has finally hit the major level we have been waiting several months for. And from hitting this level, we are now looking for a very big move to come. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you exactly how to be prepared for this move, as well as getting you ready so you can actually profit alongside this big move with me. So we, in this video, are gonna be picking up right where I left off my last one, where I was explaining why I was in a short on Bitcoin and was preferring lower prices to my lower trade targets. I wanna spend a little bit more time than usual, maybe five minutes, explaining this section of the chart which gave us this low, before, of course, I move on to explain where we are now and the next big move to come, so you can actually be ready and joining in on me on these trades. But I'm gonna spend a little bit of time here explaining in detail some really important theory, okay? So you can actually understand, you know, my brain, how it works in this trading environment, right? So I'm gonna be giving you those insights and knowledge that you simply just do not get anywhere else. So the question that I received several times was off of this pivot high of how did I recognize that it was likely that we were going to get another swing failure pattern? Of course, we had just seen an SFP here. So how did I recognize that we were going to get another one? Okay. Of course, in my live stream earlier in the day, I was preparing my team for the fake out of the shorts. After we got that fake out of the short, I then recognized how it was likely that we were gonna see one more swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern. Of course, this is posted in my Discord before it happened. Telling my team, you know, be aware of this, it does look likely, why? Why is this the case? Well, that first swing failure pattern that we saw here, okay, was not a full fill of the CME gap. So this is that first swing failure pattern you see on this section of the chart. Okay, so that did not fill the CME gap. So after seeing the first swing fair pattern and getting no rejection at all, it just felt very likely we're gonna get one more push up to take out that high, take out the early shorts. Of course, we were trading a fairly obvious pattern. So when we trade these obvious patterns, not getting full fills, okay, missing major targets. This for me is a major target that I trade. This is our chart view app, okay? And we can actually see on the template that I give to everybody, within the group, uh, we had also missed this major pivot. So for me, it just felt very likely that we were gonna get one more swing fire pattern of the swing fire pattern before we get the drop. So I alerted my team to that, okay, of basically still following the same fake out idea. And then before, of course, we go down to our major target, which is down there at 24,800, okay? Obviously, we did get a very nice swing fire pattern of the swing fire pattern as we wanted to see. And we started to make our way down, right? and make our way down the lower target that we had was the NPOC down here at 24,800 as uh, the eagle eye viewers would have seen on that YouTube video. This NPOC here actually had no reaction, no reaction, no trade, continue to look for further downside. We did get, before that happened, a few retests of that triangle, as we can see here with some few retests of the triangle before forming a new swing failure pattern which was formed from the Tuesday and then on Wednesday we come up to test that naked point of control with another SFP by the way uh, before that large move to the downside. So there was a lot of opportunities off of the sh for the short trade be it the swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern be it the SFP off of the NPOC okay coming up here and taking those sides. There were a lot of opportunities for the shorts and of course myself and the other champions really able to take full advantage uh, you know for looking for those lower prices to come let it run down okay lots of people able to you know take those short trades i'm showing you this so you can see how many champions can understand the theory and you know take advantage you know to trade alongside with us those shorts all from around that zone of the triangle fake out high right so that was lovely to see indeed so many people able to <laughs> profit on that one okay and that led us down to around that NPSC zone well, I told my team really simply as we were coming down to it you know short and chill I'm going to remain short and chill for this I'll see you in the morning update tomorrow you know we, we are down and around you know 24 800 but you know short and chill wait for my update wait for what I'm going to be telling you next Okay, so from short and chill, we finally did, of course, get the tap of the NPOC. From this, I told my team, remain short for now. This is the setup that we're going to be looking for next. I just want to play you a quick 30-second clip to explain this low. Then, of course, I'm going to be explaining exactly what we're looking for next. So if we just all pay 
quick 30 seconds. This is a clip taken from my daily live stream yesterday. Every morning you get the daily live stream. This is exactly the exact setup that I prepared my team for. Let's take a quick 10 second look at that, that I want to mark out. So as it stands from here then, I mean, you can probably guess what I'm already going to be saying. <laughs> uh, let's look and see if we can get a swing fire pad off the last low. <laughs> um yeah surprise surprise what would be the easiest setup it's going to be this right take that last low see if we get an sfp if we get an sfp then we can look for that long trade obviously for a bigger reversal i would be so that's uh, what we were looking for a swing failure pattern of the last low before we then get a bigger reversal to the upside and what did we get next well ladies and gentlemen you can probably guess it by now we did get a swing failure pattern exactly as we were looking for in the daily update uh, wait for the swing failure pattern before we enter the long and then what did we get we can see here a lovely swing failure pattern you know this is just what i say wait for the reaction wait for the low you know if price had took off without us here if price had took off here, you know, I could have said I got that wrong. We were waiting several months for this level to be hit, right? We're several months for 24,800. If price had not got that SFP and took off here, I would have missed that trade, right? Or many people would have missed it because they would have waited for me, you know, would have waited for that after I've told them, wait for the SFP. You know, if it doesn't do that and it takes off, you know, we're going to have a lot of uh, people in the group missing that trade. But, you know, people put their faith in, they listen to what I'm saying, and we waited for the SFP of the low, and we got that swing failure pattern of the low, right? And really simply, after that SFP, as I was saying, we're now looking then for a bigger reversal to the upside. What are we seeing right now? A bigger reversal to the upside. And once again, I'm going to show you here the power of listening to these daily morning updates. Every day you're getting in and you're given the trade setup. Look at this, so many champions, so many champions, ka-ching, rolling in those profits from the daily morning updates that I'm giving. Just absolutely wonderful to see so many champions absolutely profiting from this move. Just, you can see it in front of you, it's, it's lovely. Another swing failure pattern. Very nice indeed. And of course, now we are moving up to where we're looking at now. So I hope that you enjoyed those first few minutes as I explained how I recognized the SFB of the SFB was coming before the drop to fill those CME gaps to hit our bigger targets to bring us down to the biggest target that we had below us, 24,800. And how from hitting that target, I told my team to remain in shorts, wait for the swing failure pattern. What happened next? We got the swing failure pattern. We activated the long trades and then myself and the champs absolutely making a ton of profit on this move to the upside. Hitting first take profit one. Why? Well, let me show you this. It's a lovely bit of analysis indeed. If we just hide this, we're going to take this fixed range from our overall high here of this current local downtrend so we take that fixed range from the high down to current price action and we can see here look at this lovely tap off of the value area low just absolutely lovely uh gave us our first support resistance flip into that value area low for a little bit of a pullback now we're seeing some consolidation below that low so you can see the value area high here in poc very well respected previously as well so i love to see this very nice indeed and that's why there's as i'll always tell you there's never a random pivot right so what we will do as always start to look at our order flow start to see what's going on in here we know we can see the divergences that are in front of our eyes okay so we're aware of those divergences and we're aware why it's happening where it's happening right so you know what would then be our next you know sign of strength okay so we're always aware of weakness and strength in the market again we like to look at shorts when price rises and longs when price drops when we get these moves into key levels and setups you know we're confident to take the shorts up here okay which is short in the high and then when we get our drops we're looking for our longs down at the lows so we managed to short the high, long the low, you know, all given in advance, right? So from here, we're not at a high or low, are we? We're right in the middle of the chart. We're right in the middle. So from here, it does require that, you know, you know, a bit of patience, really, doesn't it? So for our sign of strength next, we're really going to want to see a reclaim of, in my opinion, the previous high. So the previous high before the drop. We're really going to want to see a claim of 26,150. OK, we can't forget about this NPOC that we have just above us here, just as we can't forget about this NPOC we have just below price action here as well. This is a one tick, different ticks. 
Okay, I'm, as I mentioned before, I am actually running statistics right now on the best tick size. That's how you might see NPOCs that I have labeled that not many other people have labeled uh, because I'm running ticks, um, statistics on what is the best tick size to be using in cryptocurrency. It's as simple as that. And okay, from here though, we have just seen a lovely reaction off of our major pivot low, which was the NPOC from 24.825. Okay, then a swing failure pattern off of that pivot low, okay, for the reversal. So we have seen a lovely reaction off of that. You know, this is a healthy move to the upside. From here, we're seeing some, some, some consolidation, of course, with those divergences after the retest of the bigger range value area low. So from here, I would remain patient personally. I would either wait for a test of our higher level Okay, and see another rejection for another short trade. Okay, or alternatively, again, I would, I'm a trader that's always prepared for both scenarios. I'm happy to see price rise. I'm happy to see price drop. I don't mind. All I care about is making profits. Okay, and to make profits, all right, from here, I would remain patient for the rise to test our bigger levels to the upside. Or alternatively, we hold that value area low as resistance and we get our subsequent drop to the downside course i would just say this this is major support here at 24 700 if we lose this i think it's very bearish indeed i i, I truly believe that's very bearish if we lose that support like yeah I, i'd be you know really would would view that as bearish of course unless we get another fake out which is more than possible uh but you know if we lose that level and we start to trade below it see high term time frame closes below very bearish indeed as it stands there, we could have just seen a nice failed auction. So be prepared for that big bearish move if we close below this. But likewise, if we actually reclaim resistance now, okay, we can then naturally look for a big short squeeze to get us up higher. So as always, my friends, we got to be prepared for both of these scenarios. Okay, we wait for high probability trade setups, which is shorting up the high of the move and longing down at the low of the move. Then when we're trading right in the middle, you know, that's where it's time to be a little bit patient, right? That's where we got to remain patient. Shorts up at the highs, longs down at the lows. When you're in the middle of the chart, let's remain patient for one of the bigger levels to be tapped next. That is how we consistently can profit on this market. Again, if you struggle with patience, if you find yourself taking a trade, getting stopped out and then a reversal happening, you know, you take a long, then you get stopped out, then the reversal happens. Well, then you, you may, you know, be interested in the guidance that's offered to you with our daily live stream updates. Not only the live stream updates, but of course you have Discord updates as it's happening, you know, remaining short and chill, you know, handing you on a plate what we're looking for next. If you want more, then of course we got live trading. So if you want live trading to see exactly what we're looking at in the time, okay, explaining why we're longing, where the stop loss is, where the target is as it's being taken in front of your eyes. We got the live trading. Of course, now we got the weekly altcoin setups, which Seven right now is on a close, perfect 100% win rate off of his altcoins. This guy is just absolutely Oh, doing very well indeed. What can I say? So we got the altcoin dedicated live uh, live stream updates every week. And of course, the live trading, um, you know, the theory, if you want the courses, you know, from beginners to master, we got up to Elliott Waves right now. Oh, man, like it's like I say here right now, we're just really focusing on, you know, working hard. Very big dedication and expertise on display from the other coaches. It's wonderful to see strongest team we've ever had at chart champions and it's just lovely to be surrounded by this you know hard working community right now um so yeah if you're interested in learning about all this exactly how we do it you want the updates you want the live streams you want the live trading you want the <laughs> theory and the knowledge and the uh you know all that good stuff the journal the templates <laughs> here are the cheat sheets all of that is what you get via chartchampions.com right and now, you know, to give you some, you know, real value from these public videos, you know, because I still do care about our public subscribers. It's not all about, you know, you need to be in the group. You know, I've given you, you know, from the last video, it's just, you know, showing you if you pay attention, you understand why I take my trades. Well, then you can start to understand the targets that we have. You know, these levels are very well respected. OK, and from here is where you can then start to make great profits alongside us. When you take that theory, you understand it and you start to put it into practice. It's where you can achieve really, truly life changing results. 
So yeah, that's us at Chart Champions. This is what we do. We crush the charts. We help people achieve their goals. And, uh, you know, that's going to be me signing out of this video. I hope that you've truly enjoyed. If you want to see more, you know exactly where to get it over on our website, chartchampions.com. I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've thoroughly enjoyed. And uh, yeah, cheers, everybody. Have a good day and goodbye.